For fifth graders at St. Athanasius Catholic Academy, it's just another day. Science and math problems. Do you love seven? Yes. But 11-year-old Theodore Gaynulin's problems have gone far beyond this classroom. Yeah, I'm afraid of the war Russia. It's a dangerous. Uh, and I scared there was boom. Uh, and I, I was scared. This time two weeks ago, Theodore was walking with his mom, Ellen, and thousands of other Ukrainians through endless villages along the western border, hoping to make it safely to Poland, not knowing what the future would hold. All schools broken, at home broken, and Ukrainian people are dying. I was framed. Nobody knows what's going to happen, like next minute, next hour. With just the clothes on their backs and one bag for both of them, Ellen and Theodore walked nearly 15 miles from Lviv to the border. Ellen, who lived in Brooklyn for 17 years, had one dream for her son. That vision kept her feet moving. I made a decision that he's going to be, when he's going to be back, I'm going to enroll him here. And my friend asked me, what school? And I said, this nice Catholic school. St. Athanasius principal Diane Compatello says the school has welcomed Theodore with open arms. How do you say no? God sent them here. If we say we're for everybody's kids, that's who we are. Knowing that Theodore and Ellen have been through a lifetime of trauma, their new school and new church want to make their home in Brooklyn a safe haven. We offer them hope in the midst of such conflict. We offer them probably the greatest gift God God's love, which I'm sure they need very much right now. Please check your work. For now, Theodore so says he's excited to be living the life of a normal fifth grader, far away from the terrors of war. Here, he's happy for it to be just another day. In Bensonhurst, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.